Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be taking a look at Alienware's 34 inch ultra wide monitor in this video. Okay, so let's talk about what the monitor is featuring. So it's a 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor. It's got an aspect ratio of 21 by nine as opposed to your regular 16 by nine. 21 by nine, if you're un unfamiliar with, it's uh, how the movies are being played at the cinemas. So they have the cinematic ratio, 21 by nine. So that's why when you watch uh, those movies in your uh, 16 by nine TV, you'll see black bars at the top and the bottom. Anyway, the resolution is 3440 by 1440p. So uh, it's got some uh, vertical, additional vertical pixels and horizontal pixels, uh, as opposed to your 1920 by 1080p regular monitors. It's got a panel that has 100 hertz uh, refresh rate, so uh, you can play games and get up to 100 FPS, uh, but also you can overclock it to 120 hertz. We'll test that out in some of the games. So let's, uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the games, like RPG games and FPS games, and how they perform with our uh, PC. Uh, it's got a NVIDIA GTX 1080, so we'll test it out with that. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some of the great games uh, on this monitor and see how they perform. So as you can see, I uh, uh, set the monitor to display the frame rate, the FPS here. Right now, we overclocked it to 120. The native uh, refresh rate is 100 hertz, but we have it overclocked to 120 and see how the games perform. So we're going to start with the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's a good benchmark for uh, uh, monitors and video cards to uh, see how they perform. So I should mention I'm using an NVIDIA uh, graphics card so, and this monitor is a G-Sync monitor. So it should be pretty smooth from uh, what they tell us if you have the combination. So here we go. I haven't played this in a while, but wow, what a difference from my old monitor. I mean, you, you could see like, like you could see a lot more in this definitely and you could you could see the uh, refresh rate over here it's keeping at about 75 to 85 which is not bad giving it's running on uh, almost ultra settings yeah so on on uh, your conventional monitors which are 16 by 9 you can see only about this much of an image but with 21 by 9 you have the extra added advantage of seeing more which would really come in handy in games like PUBG, Counter-Strike, you know, your regular FPS. We'll take a look at those next. Uh, but from what I can tell, this game is is really smoothly running on this. I mean, I, I think th that's all thanks to uh, uh, what do you call uh, the NVIDIA and G-Sync combination because they're able to uh, sync up the fps between each other so like uh if my gpu is only providing 30 fps you know the monitor is going to sync up with that so that's the advantage you have so there's no judder or you know a blur motion i don't know if you're able to see this but when i turn real quickly you know there, there used to be uh, some sort of blur and judder uh but with this monitor i, I don't see any of that Next, let's test out uh, uh, PUBG. Okay, as you can see, there's uh, black bars. You know, if the image is only supported for 16 by 9, you're not you're not gonna see uh, much there. But the game itself is supported for the ultra wide resolution. So let's check it out. All right, here we go in the game. Wow, you can definitely see a lot more. I purposely made it uh, third person, even though I like playing in the first person. But you can see a lot more detail in these type of games so 16 by 9 would have been here so you know if there's a guy on this corner or this edge um you can quickly see him without having to turn and the motion is pretty smooth right now i'm seeing uh, 120 fps give or take 100 to 120 all right here we go paradise resort so far it's pretty smooth there's not much lag <clears throat> you know without running all these pixels at this resolution 
you would think you would get some lag, but uh, I think G Sync and N Nvidia are working really well together. Some quick turns, you don't see much lag there. <clears throat> Next, let's take a look at ca uh, Counter-Strike CSGO. And we'll see how the what the difference is. So already I can see the difference that it's, uh, you know, not showing the entire vertical image, but it's showing more towards the horizontal. I think CSGO doesn't support 21 by 9, but we'll see. They probably don't want to give a competitive edge to people who have ultra-wide monitors. But even then, we can test out how the smoothness of the motion looks okay i'm still able to maintain uh about 115 fps all right guys so we took a look at some of the games tomb raider PUBG, and counter-strike so on PUBG and counter-strike we saw that we were able to achieve 100 to 120 fps um, after overclocking the panel, of course, but with to Tomb Raider, since it's very graphic intensive and we did play it on near high ultra setting, uh, we were only able to see 75 to 85 FPS. And that's probably due to a bottleneck that's uh, our NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card. So even then I should mention that with the graphics card and having G-Sync on the monitor, the mo motion was actually really smooth while turning. It was very judder free. No blur, nothing noticed uh, like that. So all in all, a very good monitor. I should mention though, that like all LCDs, LED screens, uh, it comes with a price. Like you actually have, the panel lottery is basically real. You actually have to go through that. So my first panel when it came in, I noticed that it was warmer on one side and cooler on the other side. So I had that return, got another one, the other one was uh, the issue that with that was it had flickering issues at 120 hertz so it, it was very noticeable so i got that return after that i got the third and final panel from alienware and that was it that was the the one where i didn't see any issues there um so if you if you're thinking of buying this monitor buy from alienware the dell.com website because they're the uh, only ones that actually give you extended exchange warranty for three years so what that means is it's an advanced exchange warranty actually. So what that means is uh, they'll ship you a new unit before you have to return yours if there's a problem. And uh, for three years, you have that warranty free of charge. Keep a lookout on the price. These go on uh, sale from time to time at Dell.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.